Hello YouTube, I'm so happy to be back and thank you so much for your incredible patience and understanding during my break. But I'm back and I'm so happy to be here because today I have a wonderful video which is all about how to reconnect and reclaim your English journey. But before we dive in, I would like to give you a quick update on what's been going on in my business life and in my private life. So last year in 2022, I became a certified neurolanguage coach, which is all about combining neuroscience, coaching and teaching in the process of helping my students and clients become fluent in English. And it's been a journey. First of all, it's been transformative, a transformative journey. I feel so much more empowered. I feel I have so much more tools that I can use with my clients. But the truth is that because it's a new approach, a new methodology, I had to step a little bit back to fully embrace this new approach. So it's been a journey of building new neural pathways, also reinventing myself and letting go of old teaching um, teaching methods and approaches. So I'm here and I think that you can relate to this but when we are building a new skill we need time, we need a lot of practice, we need patience and a lot of compassion. But now I am so so ready to share all this new knowledge with you and help you a little bit along the way of your journey too. And the other thing that I want to share is that I officially moved to the US. You know, I am originally from Argentina and probably if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been traveling, coming and going very frequently. Now I officially live in the US. Well, but that's enough about me. Let's dive into the topic of today's video, which is how to reconnect and reclaim your English journey. So this is a call for all of you who have been struggling to commit to your English journey, especially as busy adults. So what does it mean to reconnect and reclaim your English journey? Well, it's all about getting back on track with your English language journey. And in order to do that, we first need to address what's been getting in the way. What are the obstacles that are preventing you from reaching your goals? I've seen it with my students, with my clients, and even with myself. Obstacles and limiting beliefs can really hold you back from reaching your your full potential. So to start reconnecting and reclaiming your English journey, you need to reconnect with your purpose. This is a crucial step. If you're anything like my students or clients, you are probably wanting to learn English to unlock new career opportunities. Well, if that is the case, then thinking about learning English it's not about mastering grammar, phrasal verbs, or vocabulary. It's more about unlocking these new professional opportunities. If you can connect with this true purpose, with this deep desire that you have, and also a vision, probably, then you will be able to commit and be motivated throughout the journey. Remember that this is usually um, you know, not the quickest journey in your life. It will take some time. It is not impossible. It, is, it doesn't take forever, but it will take some time. And if, again, if you're anything like my students, you are a busy adult. You are a busy professional with a lot of responsibilities. So knowing your true purpose, your true desire and the vision, which is all the possibilities that knowing English will unlock for yourself, then that will help you stay more motivated and committed throughout the process. So another major obstacle for my students and clients is time and priorities. And I bet you can relate to what I'm going to say now, but who wouldn't like to have more hours in their day? Everyone, right? So 
But the truth is that we all have the same amount of time. So what we need to do is to prioritize. If we have our vision clear, if we have our purpose clear in a more empowered way, then it's going to be easier to set priorities because now we know the importance of learning English, of spending time pursuing this goal. So priorities is first and also the next one is time. How much time are you willing to spend and invest doing or pursuing this goal? Whatever amount that is, whatever you can commit to, make it a non-negotiable. But again, this has to be something that you can truly commit to. Don't overstretch yourself because it's going to get hard eventually. So my advice to you is first start slow and then as you progress in the journey, see if you can add more hours to your study schedule or routine. Now, the third obstacle that you might be experiencing is the how. How am I going to achieve this goal? So I have my purpose clear, I set my priorities, and I schedule time. Now, how? What is the path, what is the right path that I should pursue in order to achieve my goals? And you might feel lost when it comes to choosing this right path because there are so many options available, right? But trust me when I say this, choosing just any course available out there isn't the way to go. Not at all. That, that's further from the truth. What you need is a course, a training that is aligned to your right level of English, to your interests, to your career objectives, and to your needs. And when I, when I mention the, uh, the right level of English, what I mention is your active knowledge and your passive knowledge. More often than not, we have two different completely levels. So passive knowledge is that knowledge that allows you to understand any, anybody who is speaking English or when you read a blog or a, a book and you can understand, that's your passive knowledge that is allowing you comprehend what you read or you listen to. The active knowledge is what allows you to produce the message that you want to share, whether it is spoken or written. That's the active knowledge. And more often than not, we have two different levels. And those levels need to be acknowledged and addressed in your training. If you find yourself lost about which road to take, or if you're unsure about your real level of English, I highly recommend you sign up for your English Roadmap. Your English Roadmap is a personalized consulting service tailor-made to put you on the right track, accelerating your English language journey and helping you achieve your career goals in the shortest time possible. Here's how it works. You start by taking a simple yet comprehensive written test, especially designed to assess your current level of English, identify your objectives and obstacles. Once you submit your test, we hop on a Zoom call, a 60-minute Zoom call, where we are going to have a friendly conversation and I'm going to be able to assess your speaking skills firsthand. So now the magical part. So after you did the written test, we hop on a, on a Zoom call, you'll receive a personalized roadmap. Basically, this is your English roadmap. Here you will have an outline of your objectives and a clear path that you can follow in order for you to achieve your career goals and your English goals in particular in the least amount of time. So remember this, clarity, knowing which level you have, the right level that you have, also being aware of in your obstacles, what are your interests, what's your career objectives, all these are fundamental if you want to reconnect and reclaim your English journey. And if you need help with the first step, which is to really know 
where you're at, what's your starting point and where you're heading to, then I can help you with your English with your English roadmap. All the information for that service is down below and also up here. So let's do a quick recap on what it means to reconnect and reclaim your English journey. So basically, it is all about going back on the right track from a more empowered way. By becoming aware of what our obstacles are, taking up in responsibility, being accountable, setting priorities, making time, and knowing which is the best way that you can take in order to achieve your English goals in the least amount of time is what it means to reconnect and reclaim your English journey together. So in this video, we talked about reconnecting with your true purpose of what it means to learn English for you. We also talked about how to set priorities and also make time for your goals. And then we also talked about what's how, right? What's the right way to learn English for you? Because that's also unique and it's personal depending on the previous points that we talked about. And remember that if you need help with the first step, if you don't know how to start, what's the best service for you, or if you don't, if you're not even aware of your real level of English, then I can help you with your English roadmap. All the information for that is down below. So make sure to sign up and also turn on the notifications to receive all the new material, all the new empowered and improved content that's coming your way. I can't wait to share more with you about this journey that New Language Coaching has put me on. And well, I think that other than that, uh, I'm very happy to be here. And thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye-bye.